fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 30th of April 2025. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying life. I'm just back from the swimming pool. Found out that the pool is closed tomorrow for May Day, the May Day holiday. I'm all in favour of labourers, people who have to work hard getting a day off. So congratulations to them on a day off. But unfortunately I won't be able to go swimming tomorrow. Never mind. We can sacrifice a day, can't we? It's just a day. Uh, what's going on in the world? Uh, if you're in the UK and you want to be a citizen scientist, uh, would you like to count bugs on a, on your number plates? Uh, apparently this is something they do. Uh, bug splat, in fact. How many dead insects there are on your number plate? If you'd like to uh, join the citizen science <laughs> team and a report. Apparently uh, this kind of uh, information has uh, resulted in there being a lower count of insects, um, presuming lower amounts of insects, by up to 63% in the last four years, I think it was. So, uh, hmm, I'm not sure if they have accounted the data properly for, you know, the speeds of cars uh, uh, or wind conditions, etc. It seems to me there are a lot of things that will, could go wrong uh, when you're counting bug splats on a number plate. But anyway, I'm sure the data scientists will have accounted for it. Uh, you can find more. There's an article in The Guardian if you want to read about it. It should be fun. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku then, shall we? This is the LA Times Expert Level Puzzle. I'm going to play it quite quickly because um, I'm... A, because I'm a bit tired and B, because uh, I've got some stuff to get, be getting on with. So I won't be spending a long time trying to play the game without pencil marks. I shall jump in with pencil marks as soon as needed. Fives there, five blocking up there and five across there five this way this way and up there and there's a five five to the bottom it looks like this is the last one so we picked on the right number to start with there that's lucky get lucky sometimes you just the first number that you look at turns out to be one that you can get all of the digits for and we've done that with five I'm sure it's not a coincidence I'm sure the uh, compiler of the Sudoku leads us in that direction we've got an eight in this square here Spotted a pair of six and two blocking down here, so I can say that these two squares contain two and six only. And these squares do not. That's one, four, seven. Oh, that's a snooker break, right? One, four, seven in those squares. How does that help? It means that ones are somewhere up there. It also means that fours are up there in these two squares, I should say. And the sevens will be somewhere in the middle of there. These then will not be 1, 4, or 7. They must be 3, 8, and 9. We've got 8 and 9 together, so that will be our 3. Now we've got 3 down here, 3 up there. There is our 3. Six blocks across here and there.
All right, let's go around the number system. Oh, I've just noticed something. Six blocks this square here. That's a six. That's got to be the two, hasn't it? See, clicking on one number leads me to another number. I know you, I get a lot of complaints about, oh, I'm looking for only one digit, but that's often not true. We've got twos in those squares down there. We've got two blocking down here. That's a two. Two blocks across here. Two blocks this square, this square, and this square. So in this column, there's a two. two blocks this square, two blocks this square, so in this row there is our two, then we've got twos going to the bottom like this and across there. That's a two, two across here, across there. Can we, can we, can we? Mm, no we can't because we've got twos left in those squares there, okay. Six blocking across here, across there, and six down here gives me a six in that square. We've got sixes like this. nine across here and nine down here says that you must be a nine my friend one and seven can't go in this square that puts one and seven into those squares for this row and leaves me here with a four Four blocking up here, four down there, four across there. There is a four, four across this way. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I had more than one digit selected. Four blocking across here, four across there. That's our four. Two across this way, two across that way, there's the two, two up here, two across there should finish off digit two, yep. Uh, One blocking down here gives me a one in that square. This will be a three to finish there. One and three block up here, so those squares contain one and three, and this has to be a seven. One, in fact, blocks this square, so that is our one and that is our three. 
three blocking down here, three across there, there is a three. Six up here, six down there. There's a six, and I've just realized there's one empty square in that column. Wasn't really paying attention there, but that's got to be a seven, hasn't it? Another last number here is a nine. I think this is seven and eight, isn't it, for this row? Is that right? Seven or eight? And we've got 7 as one of our missing digits down here, so that can't be 7. That's going to be the 7. That's going to be the 8. Now I'm pretty sure we've got 9 yeah, nine in those squares blocking up there. So that's got to be a 9 there. Eight blocks across this way and this way. There's our 8 one blocks across here there's the one the last number to go there is a four we need four blocking across there and there saying that's a four four down to the bottom here four down there there's a four four across this way and this way gives us four in that square one blocks across here there's the one Missing numbers here are 1 and 9, and so these have to be 3 and 7. So 3 blocks across there, there's the 3 and there's the 7. Also need a 7 to finish that block there. Okay, 2, 4 and 5 are finished. So let's just click on the numbers now, see if we can f spot something else. We've got the 1 blocking up here, so and one blocking across there so that's the one one blocking down here there's the one that's finished the last number to get up here is a three we'll place that three blocks down here up here and across there there is a three and that's finished uh, six is the next number we need six blocking down here six up there and that's a six six across here gives us six in that square uh, the missing digit there looks to be a nine and nine blocks this square we still need nine in this column so that's the nine and for the remainder of this well let's do this first it should be easier to spot that's uh, an that's uh, a nine isn't it and then nine blocking up there there's a nine and the missing digit here is seven uh, seven blocks that square that's a seven and here we still need an eight and oh it's done <laughs> I thought there was a bit more Okay, that's about it then. That's our expert level puzzle from the LA Times over and out for Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.